spooky family welcome back to another decor hunting video this is part three of halloween decor hunting 2023 as you guys can see i'm wearing one of my hocus pocus shirts it looks a little light you know worn out i've had it for like what three years so you know it's gonna eventually wear out but i'm wearing it is because today well the day that i'm filming this obviously i'm gonna like post this like afterwards but the day i'm filming this july 16th is the 30 year anniversary of hocus pocus oh my god i'm not even 30 years old i'm only 23 so hocus pocus is older than me but i am so excited so normally um as i've mentioned we watch hocus pocus and watch all of our you know halloween spooky watch list in september and october maybe at the end of august like when we you know decorate but because it's a 30 year anniversary like you have to watch hocus pocus for its 30 year anniversary duh so that's what we are doing today today is a whole hocus pocus day um but i decided you know um let's let's go do like a halloween decor hunting but hocus pocus edition to see if we can find anything hocus pocus related and of course regular stuff as well um now this won't be like a full decor hunting so this is kind of like a mini one like we're only going to um home goods and tj maxx um is because i want to save like a huge one uh, where we go to like every store for the last decor hunting so today is just like a little tiny one um is because i have went halloween shopping like um you know off camera um i went the other day i think it was like thursday and then i think i went on like another sunday and i just went you know little shopping little decor hunting without filming is because you know you know you gotta kind of you know enjoy it without always having to pick up a camera or pick up your phone to record so i know that tj maxx my tj maxx finally has stuff and home and my home goods has some stuff like well last time i went a couple days ago they had like a little, little, little tiny bit so hopefully they have more but even if they don't i know tj maxx you know, has some stuff so to show you guys what they all have and yeah so that's just what we're gonna do today just a little tiny decor hunt you know just to see halloween in honor of hocus pocus i decorated last night for hocus pocus so if you watched my video that i posted um going through my decor boxes i was looking for all of my hocus pocus items and stuff to fit my spooky coffee cart but we'll get to that spooky coffee cart at a later time i feel like i keep bringing it up and i still haven't done it so we're just gonna put it over there but yes to find all my hocus pocus stuff and i set it up and you guys will see it tonight well not tonight but when i post it whenever i post it whatever um i'm filming this on the 16th on sunday the 16th so whenever i post this disregard you'll see whatever i'm talking about okay um i decorated for hocus pocus and i cannot wait so yeah um it's gonna pour which is honestly perfect it is very gloomy and it's like it's gonna thunderstorm it's well not thunderstorm it's gonna rain i know that but i love rain i love gloomy weather so this is honestly perfect so before it starts doing all that let's head into home goods and then let's go into tj maxx and then we're gonna go home and start our hocus pocus festivities Okay, so we just got out of Home Goods and TJ Maxx. And okay, first, I forgot to film me walking into um, Home Goods. So, you know, I forgot to, you know, film the outside. And I do that a lot. So, if sometimes in these decor hunting videos, you, like it, it kind of looks the same when I'm walking in, like, you know, like the sky or whatever that's the reason because sometimes i forget to record me walking in and record the outside so then i reuse them i i reuse the shots from other <laughs> decor hunting videos that's why so we went into all goods and they had more stuff not a lot they are they are slowly slowly picking up the pace and, and emphasis on slowly like damn okay so they had um just like the typical 
um stuff that we've been seeing um like on like on the halloween facebook group on in other people's videos like just basically all of the same stuff there's nothing that really um stood out or or um you know um popped out actually they had these two i'm guessing like masquerade masks or like one was kind of like a masquerade mask and the other was kind of like a um like a what's it called a jester or whatever so, something there was these cute two cute masks one was like burgundy-ish reddish and like gold and the other one was like an all-white mask i thought that those were really beautiful honestly if those are there like the next time I, I go shopping i'm honestly going to get them is because they're very appealing to my eyes like i don't know like they they were really cute um but yeah the decor is the typical stuff and then they had um just a few blankets, the same ones that we've been seeing. And then they had dish towels um, and table runners, the same things that we've been seeing. So not really any anything new and exciting at this Home Goods. The other one, there's a lot more stuff, I'm sure. Um, but I mean, seeing Halloween is exciting, period. Um, we did find something Hocus Pocus. We did, but... <laughs> It's Ray Dunn. <laughs> she snuck her way in. She snuck her way in. So far, I have not seen Ray Dunn anywhere. I, I, I have not seen Ray Dunn at any Home Goods or any TJ Maxx or any Marshalls. So far. It's still early. So far. But she snuck her way into this Home Goods and she did it with Hocus Pocus. There's this Hocus Pocus dish towel. <laughs> this Ray Dunn Hocus Pocus dish towel. She snuck her way in. Growl. So um, I didn't buy anything at Home Goods. There was nothing that you know I needed to buy. But we went into TJ Maxx and they had more stuff than last time. And but they didn't have much. There was just this like one, like one little area. Um, but they had some cute stuff. They had this one skeleton that's like attached to a tombstone. And there's like lights at the bottom of it, and guess what it does? <laughs> it dances. It dances with music playing. This was so cute, <laughs> adorable. One, the music was like loud, so when I pressed it, like I immediately put it back down. That's why I recorded it when it's still on the shelf. I put it back down is because like <laughs> there was like mad people in there so i was like oh okay <laughs> but it's so cute that yes 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 i got it i had to i don't know why it's so funny like i just crack up i love one the detail is actually really good um it's like a plastic material but um yeah look <laughs> and there's like lights at the bottom <laughs> oh my god so adorable and precious i had to buy it. it it was only 15 bucks 14.99 like <laughs> sorry. something more at tj maxx that i found so i had been looking for goosebump shirts for like a couple weeks and they're just all gone and like i feel like all of like the spooky shirts even like the ghost face shirts the um um freddie shirts the michael myers shirts i feel like you know all of the like the you know halloween spooky shirts are gone now is because like facebook like you know halloween facebook groups like when we like posted all, all the pictures and stuff sent everyone to tj maxx and marshall's and took all the damn shirts but yeah i have not been able to find any goosebump shirts or like anything but TJ Maxx came through today and I found, <laughs> I found it. I found a Goosebump shirt. It is a Goosebump shirt with like all of like the monsters on it, I think. And, and of course it's green. You know, I love green. It's super cute. I'm so happy I found it. Oh my God. So this is what we got from, from TJ Maxx. Very cute and very fitting for my aesthetic. Um, yeah, so we're gonna actually go to the other home goods. I was just gonna stop here, but I feel like, you know, this video is, is gonna be, like, mad short, and, you know, it's still early, and we are on a, just on, like, a Halloween high, so 
<laughs> he got me. He he got me pumped up, y'all. He got me pumped up. He got me pumped up. So we're gonna go to the other home goods, and Joanne's is right next to it, so we might pop in there. Probably not. I don't. I don't really care for what's in Joanne's. No offense, but I. Mm, I think the prices, the prices is what throws me completely off. We'll see. So I'll see you guys at the other home goods. Okay, so we just got out of Home Goods and Joann's. Yes, I went into Joann's. I'm kind of glad I did though. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So Home Goods, they have the same things. The same things that we've seen. But they did have this like big statue dude that I've been seeing and that has caught my eye. And you know, I was waiting until I saw him in person to like make the final decision if I want him or not. He is $60, but he's huge and heavy. So that's a great price. Um, because my pumpkin man from last year was $60 and, and like he's not as big as this one. Now I didn't get him because one, his shirt is pink. I love pink and I'm actually loving all of like the pink stuff this year but for him I wish his shirt was white to go with his pants and his hat like, it just made more sense for his shirt to be white um his shirt is pink and his little collar thing his like ruffles have glitter on him oh my god I look, don't get me wrong I love glitter on like regular stuff but Halloween stuff it kind of annoys me when there's glitter on it now granted I do have some signing from um, Dollar Tree and stuff that has glitter, which is fine, but like stuff like this, like it's just, it is, it, like I don't know, maybe, maybe like I'll change my mind, but for now, I don't think that I'm gonna get him. But he is a, a great price. Um, what else they had? Yeah, just the typical stuff that that we've been seeing. Like there's nothing new, nothing special. But we went into Joann's. Once again, same as Home Goods, like the the you know same kind of stuff. But they did have these two end caps of stuff that I haven't seen, and like I don't think I've seen it in pictures. I probably have, but um, they had these little kind of like little knickknacks, and then on the second end cap there was this um skeleton dude in like different positions. There's like you know on the toilet, <laughs> um on a chair and a bathtub, like all that stuff, and yeah. Like, I don't think I've seen this stuff at Joann's before, but I'm kind of glad I went into Joann's because I did end up getting one of the little figurines. I did end up getting the one that's sitting in a chair reading a book with a witch hat. And I feel like this is me, guys. This is me. It's because, you know, I have my book um, shelf and I feel like this will be perfect for the bookshelf, the witch hat, reading a book. Um I, um, I don't have a dog, but I mean, the dog is cute. But yeah, really cute. He is $20, but, they, but they're but they having the 40% off. So he, I think he, he was like $12, which honestly, it's not bad. I feel like something like this would be about $10, $12 at um, home goods and stuff. So yeah, you know, good price. Yeah, I love the witch hat, but yeah, he's cute. So yeah, so yeah I'm kind of glad that I went. It's Joann's. Um, we are actually here at Burlington. I know that I said, oh, we're only going to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. It's, it's gonna be a tiny one, but it's still early and there's nothing to do today, you know? So why not? And I've been like, I've been meaning to go to Burlington. Like I keep forgetting about Burlington is because I don't think anybody has, you know, posted about Burlington, maybe like one or two posts. So I keep forgetting about it. But since it was like down the street, I'm like, you know what? Let's go to Burlington. And I remember that there's a TJ Maxx next to Burlington. So maybe this TJ Maxx has more stuff than the other one. So yeah, let's just go in and see. Um, hopefully Burlington has like, you know, some stuff, but yeah. Okay, so we just got out of Burlington and TJ Maxx because there's one right next to it. Um, Burlington didn't have any decor. I think that they only had like these two um, signs and then like a floor sign. So um, two wall signs and a floor sign, which were really cute. Um, and then they mostly had like mugs on this little like um corner which were honestly really cute they had um, a couple jason mugs i think a michael myers mug too but um some you know pumpkin mugs and 
um, you know, just, you know, mugs. And then, like, um, espresso mugs, espresso mugs, and then, like, the, um, the mug stacks, so the, you know, stackable mugs and then they had only a couple blankets they had this blanket that um i bought last year at a tj maxx it's like this you know candy blanket but um a lady had it in her car at the checkout and then another person was also buying halloween at the checkout so i wasn't the only one we have our little spooky people out there and yeah, they didn't have much blankets. They had this one pillow. It, it was like skeletons dancing or whatever. I, I think it was like a party, um, like a Halloween party thing. And then they had a lot of bath stuff. So like um um shower towels, sh shower towels, um <laughs> shower curtains. And I don't think that they had towels, but they had um like the soap dispensers and a and a couple shower curtains. And I think that was pretty much it at um, Burlington. I did buy a mug. I bought this one. I think it's like unique, like the shape of the pumpkins. And um, I love this orange color. I love the black like um, dots on it. I love the shape of it too. It's kind of it's kind of like a cauldron shape, kind of. And then it's just all black inside. But yeah, I thought the pumpkins were really cute. A little pumpkin family, really cute. It, it was only $3.99. Yeah, I love the, the um tag. Look, I love the tag. But yeah, so um that's pretty much it at Burlington. And then TJ Maxx had basically the same stuff at the other TJ Maxx. But the way they set it up here was like really cute. Like all of like the black and gold stuff was like together and it looked very like, you know, pleasing. It, it was like the, you know, black, um, the um, black pumpkins and skeletons and, you know, skull area which is really cute. And then that's pretty much it that they had at um, this TJ Maxx, same thing as the other one. Um, they did have this little bowl with a skeleton dude and um, um, it's animated, it's Hawk, so I'm gonna play it here. I thought that that was really cute, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't buy anything is because it was the same stuff at, as the other one, but yeah. I need to go home and be away from people and be in my hocus pocus mode and be in, in my solitude is because these people are crazy. Burlington, it smelled like a hospital in there, which made me so uncomfortable because like I hate I hate hospitals and like I like I don't know what that smell was but like, no like it dead ass smelled like a hospital and the lady that was checking me out at Burlington Halloween already what what month is it again it's Halloween I don't give a damn it's Halloween okay excuse my language but it's Halloween thank you in conclusion this was a great Halloween decor hunting day a, a little mini one kind of but we did buy some very cute stuff probably bought more stuff than you know i kind of expected i'm so happy i found another goosebump shirt ah, i'm so happy um yeah we're cute we're cute we got it okay so um as always oh <laughs> happy hocus pocus <laughs> happy hocus pocus um as always we are here for all halloween all hallows eve all, look all hallows eve all hallows eve all hallows eli and of course Stay spooky! <laughs>